Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video, you're gonna learn how to play You're the Devil in Disguise, as recorded by Elvis Presley on guitar. Now this song has some unique guitar parts in it. It sounds to me like there's two guitars that actually kind of make up what seems like the one part, and one is more of a baritone or dropped tuned guitar, and then another one is like a high strung or like tenor guitar. So you have sort of a low guitar and then a high guitar. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you just a main rhythm part that goes through the whole thing. And I've kind of split the difference here and put a guitar part more in the middle of the guitar. And I'm gonna take you through the progressions and what you need to know and how to strum it for the whole song. But before we dive into the lesson, if you're new to the channel, I've got a gift for you. I put together this awesome fretboard guide that's gonna show you the five chords and scales that I use to map out the entire fretboard. And I used to feel so much more confused when I looked down at the neck until I understood what I put on just this one page. And I wanna give it to you completely for free. You can print it out and keep it on your music stand or on your desk top as you're putting all of this together. All you got to do is go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or click the first link down below. Made it easy for you. So hope you enjoy that. And with that said, let's break it down. All right, so as I mentioned, I'm gonna be playing this with a capo on the third fret and in the key of D. Now the song is in the key of F, concert pitch, but we're gonna be using a lot of open chords here with a capo on the third fret. Now we start off actually on the end of the chorus section. This is what we play for the intro. Three, four. <laughs> Elvis is in there with the verse. So I'm using just three chords here. I'm starting on a G. And you can play any G that's comfortable for you. I often go for this G chord where I don't play the fifth string. So I'm playing the third fret of the low E, muting the fifth string, then open, open, three, three. So that's my G. From there, I'm gonna go to A. Again, you can play any A. I use this one from the fifth string down, open, two, 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 open. And then we're gonna hit the D chord on the downbeat after that. And that's just from the fourth string down, open, two, three, two. So those are our three chords. And when I add the rhythm with it, it's gonna go. So I've got two chords in the first bar, G, A, then D. Now rhythmically, I'm going down, down, up, up, down, or one E and a, two E and a, playing eighth notes and some sixteenth notes here. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one. Then after we hit that D chord on the downbeat, we rest. And then there's a guitar that goes does just this one note here. I'm gonna play the fifth string open, which is actually the note C here on your fifth string. Now that starts on beat two. So we're gonna strum the, the D chord on the downbeat. One and two and three and four and. So all together up to speed, the intro goes three, four. Then we're into the verse. Now for the verse, we're gonna play this. And then we're into You're the Devil in Disguise. So at the top of the verse here, we're playing four bars of a D chord. We're gonna go one, two, three, Then we go to G for two bars. Then A, two, three, four, break. And then we have the kickoff there. You're the devil in disguise going into the chorus. So no new chords, still just using D, G, and A. But I did change the strumming up a bit. Let me break that down. This is the pattern that I'm doing. So 
So this is a very common strumming pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up, one and two and three and four and. But what I'm doing on the second beat is kind of dragging my pick through the strings a little bit, so. And that just gives more of kind of like a, a Latin or like Roomba feel. One, two, and three, and four, and ba, ba, da, 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 da. Then G. A. And then you just hit that last beat right on the one. One, two, three, four. From there we go into the chorus, and here the energy ramps up. It almost reminds me of something like Shout, you know, that classic tune where it's like, you make me want to shout, and you just go into this groove. So think about the lyrics, you're the devil in disguise, and we play this. So I brought in one new chord here, we're going to play a B minor. And this is a bar chord here on the second fret, starting on the fifth string. Two, four, four, three, two. Now if that's too hard, you could play a B minor seven, which is just every other string here on the second fret. That's an easier variation, or if you can, get the bar chord. Now we're gonna alternate for the first four bars. We're gonna go D, B minor, D, B minor. Strumming wise, I'm using that same rhythm that we did at the top. When we played our intro, down, down, up, up, down, or one E and a, two E and a, then repeat it for beats three and four. Three E and a, four E and a. Now I am adding a little bit of sort of a uh, staccato muted feel to it, so I do that by just pressure and release here with the fretting hand. So that's the first four bars of the chorus. Then we play this. Then we're back to the verse. You look like an angel. All right, so what I played here was I actually still played D to B minor, but instead of one bar per chord, like we were doing at the first part of the chorus, we're gonna stretch it and play two bars per chord. So that's. Should really be like four of those strumming patterns, then go to the next chord. Okay, that's those four bars. Then we play this one bar per chord. We go D, B minor, then do the intro, G, A, D. Remember I said when we were learning the intro that this is how the chorus ends. So you end with just that G, A, D. Then you play the fifth string, and then that builds you back into so you have slightly different feels. You know, when we kick into the chorus, the energy comes up, we're using more 16th notes. Then in the verse, we have that more classic down, down, up, up, down, up, with a little bit of a drag on the second strum. One and two and three and four, down, like an angel. One and two and. So here's the whole chorus played as one piece. One, two, three, four. Now when we end the tune, we actually just fade out on the first part of the chorus. You're the devil in disguise, we just go D, B minor, D, B minor, all the way out like this. So 
So have fun working on those different strumming patterns and those different feels throughout the song. This is a great one to practice your rhythm playing and do your own cover with or record a video. And to help you put this together even more, be sure to grab my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is gonna show you the five must know chords and scales to map out the entire fretboard. And I used to feel so much more confused when I looked down at the neck until I understood what I put on just this one page and you can grab it completely for free as my gift to you just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link as always thanks for watching thanks for listening we'll see you in another video real soon mm -hmm.